hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me I wanted to show you another one of our new products that we are getting in we've got some of these in this week and then we're due more in next week these are just now starting to hit the US they have been over in Europe for a while I think but they're just now starting to hit the US and these are the new Nuvo Aquaflow uh, brush tip watercolor pens. These, this is three of the sets out of the four. The only set that we're missing and still waiting on is the one that's summer holiday. You get three pens in each one, and they're um, like this one is the autumn set, and you get the spice ginger, rustic oak, and evergreen fern. And then this one is the spring set, and you get uh, lilac blossom, fresh green, and soft rose. And in this one is winter skies, and you get indigo dawn, azure blue, and obsidian black, I think it's called. And they also have the color on here. I don't know that is a sticker so I don't know exactly how long that would stay but um, you know it has the little color tip here so that you can make sure you put the colors back it also has the color here that is not a little sticker it is actually you know stamped into that so that would stay pretty good I think all right and like I said there's one more it's called summer holiday and it's got some of the reds and that kind of the summery colors in it and we don't have that one yet, but I wanted to go ahead and show these to you. Now, when you get these pens, they are going to come to you just like this. Of course, they will be in their pack, but they'll have this. You'll see this little green mark right here. Now, pay close attention to this because I have so many people, even with the Wink of Stella, that buy one and message me and say it's no good I can't get any ink out of it so let me show you what to do the very first thing that you want to do when you get it shake it up a little bit not too much just a little bit pull that end off unscrew this top and that little green part right there will fall off of there then you want to put this back on and you want to start twisting it and you will hear it pop and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that just kind of put it on straight make sure that you keep twisting until it comes all the way up to the barrel okay all right then when you get that done you'll notice on the sides there's press and then on this side you'll press too but and then right here there's a little bitty slit in there that's where you can see your ink coming down so uh, you want to press very lightly these are watercolors so they've got a lot of ink in them and they are pigmented you don't want to make your water brush leak believe me I did already you see my hand I wasn't paying what I paying attention to what I was doing and I was pressing on it and trying to look at my phone at the same time because somebody was calling me and all of a sudden I had ink all over me. So you just keep pressing on that until you can see a little bit. You see the ink starting to come right there? Do you see that ink coming down in here? Whoops! See, I pressed too hard. It came down on this side so look all the way around because sometimes you'll press a little harder on one side than you do the other and you'll end up having a drop hit like that like I did it's not the end of the world it won't continue to do that but it can make a mess on you so when you just press it a few times and you'll see it coming down and then just let gravity take it from there okay so then it'll fill up and then you can just put your cap back on and you're ready to start watercoloring now I don't have all of the colors enough to to blend the flower really well which is what I wanted to color okay now I'm used to my Copics so you're gonna have to bear with me I've not played with these very much so um, 
we're going to take this green. I just started on that and I didn't really blend well. So, like I said, I'm used to the Copics and this is going to react differently than the Copics. They are alcohol based and this is a water based ink. So, I do like the fact that they have the really, really fine tip. I like that. So, we'll just go in on some of these leaves here, branches. Oh, I like that tip. It's going to be even better when I get my glasses on so that I can see what I'm coloring. Oh, yeah. That tip is really, really nice. Of course, if you had this where you could get right over it and not have it out in front of you like I do, you could probably stay in the lines. So, even though my flower is not very blend it out. And this is not a watercolor paper. This is just a Nina cardstock. And it's probably one of the reasons why I'm not able to blend very well is because it's just a cardstock. I didn't drag out my watercolor paper to stamp on. I just wanted to play with these a little bit and get the feel of them. I'm not trying to show you how to color because I do not know how to color. I, uh, I like to play. And I'm so used to watercoloring with a brush, and a brush just lets you go crazy, kind of. That, this is a little different. And this, this green is definitely a dark green. It's a lot darker than what it's showing on there. So, another thing that you could do, if you don't want to get such a dark, dark shade like that, which I don't, is put a little of the ink out on your mat. I mean, that's that's a little bit way too dark for me right there. And then take just your brush, take your water, and water it down just a little bit. And then just take a brush and go in there. So as you can see, that green is way too dark for what we need. So you can water it down some and make, you know, have some different shades in there if you want to. But while we're at it here, let's just go on here and I'm going to go on the back side and all I'm going to do is show you the different colors. Because I, I need to practice with these before I can do any coloring, that's for sure. Sure and Sutton. Okay, that is fresh green, and then this one is evergreen fern. That is the deep dark one. But you see, there is such a difference between this one and this one. There's no way you could blend those two. You need a, a middle color there. And then let's do the purples. Okay, this one is Lilac Blossom. So that's pretty. And this is Indigo Dawn. And see there's quite a difference in those two as well. So you, we really need that fourth pack. I'm sure it's going to have the ones in there that we need. This one is Azure Blue. But I just wanted to show you these. I love the way they flow. They have a very soft flow. I like the, the tip. Very neat. You could probably, if you knew how to if you knew how to write well, which I don't, you could do some pretty writing with this. But it's not me. I don't have that hand. Okay, this is uh, soft rose. This one is very, very soft. Okay. Alright, then you have your black. And then this is rustic oak. I like that. That color's pretty. 
and this one is spiced ginger that color is pretty too so that is all of the colors that I have it's not all the colors that they've made like I said there's three more colors that go with this it's the summer holiday you can go ahead and order those if you want they'll be here next week and I do have all of the sets ordered as well as the water brushes that go with these now these have their own reservoir so they are full of ink let me read anything on the back that you might know um, that you might need to know I'm sorry the Nuvo Aqua Flow pens are uniquely designed to create a watercolor effect without hassle and mess. These highly pigmented water-based pens leave you with a bright, vibrant finish. The perfectly formed watercolor brush nib makes the pens extremely versatile and is perfect for adding small details or color washing large areas. Each pen has its own reservoir complete with a non-drip valve apply unless you squeeze it too hard apply different pressure to the reservoir to control the amount of liquid released uh, it says also look out the other colors in the Nuvo Aquaflow pen collect look out for the new colors uh, so I'm thinking that they might have more colors coming out but right here is where they um, they say that it's not recommended for children under 14 are not suitable so just like I said keep that in mind when you order them okay guys I think that's it for today like I said I just wanted to show you the two newest products that we have got in we will be getting lots more things in next week next week we're supposed to start getting in all of the new graphic 45 so keep a lookout for that we have lots of pre-orders that are already in if you want to get your order in make sure that you go to the link that I'll leave below because we're going to fill the pre-orders first and then we'll start shooting the other ones out the door just as fast as they come in and if you want these that link also will be below I will have each set linked out and you can go over and purchase those if you would like these are not expensive at all they're very inexpensive I think for all that you get because I'm sure these will go a long long way okay guys we will talk to you later please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.